I am now live. I don't know how the signal is, Mum. <sighs> Happy Saturday, Sunday, Easter Sunday. Hey, Aslin. Hey, Talia. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Gabes. Hey, Izzy. Hey, Beck. I'm just waiting. <laughs> just waiting for a couple more to hop on and then I'm going to show you how to do <coughs> Hey Shazza I'm going to show you how to do the process for the gnocchi to start off with I haven't got a potato ricer I haven't got a gnocchi wheel like board I'm using what mum's got so it's far from a commercial kitchen Hey Janelle Sharon, you got all your stuff ready? Izzy, have you got all yours? It's like that awkward silence here when I'm waiting for responses. Waiting. <laughs> that white head. Cool. All right, you ready to start meshing? Hey Maddie. Okay, so mum hasn't got a potato masher, but she's got her version of a, hey Charlie, hey Luke, um, of a sieve. So I'm gonna push that potato through. Charlie and Aslan, did, <laughs> I know Sharon, it's a, it's a Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday, cheers. I'm, I'm, look, I'm doing this for the love. I'm sharing the wine. Hey Cookie. So you need, you, look, if you don't have something that's gonna push the potatoes through, just mash them. The good thing with uh, potato rices, hey Carl's, is that um, they will give the potato a smooth texture and that's what you want for your gnocchi at the end. But we're working with what we have. So we're gonna push the potato through. If you haven't got, hey Kate, if you haven't got a, um, like a sieve, uh, mesh thing like this just mash it so that's what we're going to do now so as you're doing it um i'm just going to get mum mum's still here with me she's out the fire here and birdie having a romantic time you doing it okay adjust yeah so you can look at the screen so yeah. you know that yeah so i'm just using a spoon and i'm just pushing that through okay Very good at your camera skills, as well. Thank you. you as you can see, that's quite hot, and you can see this texture of the potato that's come through that it's smooth. Okay, we don't want any lumps in there. If you're going to use a regular potato masher, you're going to get lumps. Don't stress about it. I'm not Italian. I've only been shown how to make gnocchi once by a nonna. That was my next door. I don't want a potato masher, Mum. I'm just saying to them. Can you watch where you're? Okay, thank you. Just hold the thing there. Just hold it. <laughs> this is a shout out to Janet Clark, my mother. Okay. So I put butter in the bottom of the bowl here. Um, it will melt with the temperature of the potatoes. Go back a little bit, Mum. That's okay. Yep. Just like that. Just, that's fine. Thank you. So, if you're using potatoes and they're quite wet, you're going to have to add more flour to the batch, which is not what you're after. 
the less starchy the potato, the better. Okay, so can you see that? Okay. Okay, cool. I'll bring you back because I just want to make sure that everyone's everyone's okay. If you've got any questions, just yell out. What our process is at the moment is that we're going to put them through the sieve. Hey, Cos. Um, put butter in there and then we're going to make the dough, okay? The wetter that your potatoes are, the more flour you have to add. And your little pillows of cloud are going to taste like flowers of cloud. Flowers of Clouds of flour, clouds of flour. It's Sunday. And I'm showing you guys how to make gnocchi, home version, okay? When I've worked in restaurants before, we've used other potatoes and we put them on uh, rock salt at a low heat, it draws the moisture out. Um, and then you put them through a potato ricer. You need little flour uh, at all. And they're delicious. Okay. Janet's gone. She's gone. Her and Bertie are having a romantic time at the fire out the back. Patty's down the back room. Didn't want to make an appearance today. I haven't made gnocchi for, I don't know, a while. Living up in Queensland for the last three and a bit years you don't like you don't crave heavy starchy dishes hey Pete okay so once your potatoes are smashed do not add any liquid I repeat do not add any liquid okay so I'm just gone, so I'm gonna to have to do this one handed. <laughs> Kate, have you got the kids with you or just you? I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this. Okay, see the potato? I've got the butter in there and I'm just moving that around. All right. What we're gonna add now is an egg yolk okay so same thing for those that have been cooking with me for the last two weeks is separate your egg and if i'm if i'm talking too fast uh just tell me to slow down ask questions i go into chef mode every now and then crack your egg on the side gradually open up let the white fall out and egg yolk in your egg in your gnocchi mix oh cool cool are you making the gnocchi okay you're gonna have a crack cheers taste the sundae okay so egg mixture i'm gonna put that through Now, gnocchi, the terminology for gnocchi is pillows of cloud. It should taste light. Um, you don't want it like flowery. That's it. like that's our goal here. So my mixture, yeah. Okay, very nice, very nice. I like it. So, season, okay, always season. Oh, put parmesan cheese in too, okay. Steve's making ours. Okay. Are you up for your cooking, Kylie? Okay. I'm going to put some parmesan in. Uh, maybe, I don't know, about a quarter of a cup. If you're doing four to five potatoes, that'll be enough for about five serves. Of pe like five people. You can stretch it out, um, like, yeah, you can stretch it out, like one or two potatoes. You don't have to make it a lot. <gasps> My mix looks really good. I'm really happy with this. Okay, I'm going to season, and then I'm going to get ready to make the dough. 
Also, what I'm going to do is demonstrate two sauces after this as well. I'm not sure what everyone's planning on doing for their sauces. I know Kylie's like, Kylie's got it all sorted. <laughs> she sent me a photo of a potato ricer and I was very jealous. There you go. Okay. Now, flour. How's everyone's mix? <laughs> I'll have a glass of wine for you after, Pete. How's everyone's mix looking? Is it wet? I'm going to bring you down. Lay on down. I'm going to put my mixture on. Oh, yum. Are you doing like roast pumpkin with uh, cream, pine nuts, spinach? Now, you need to use light fingers. We're not putting any milk or any cream in there. Okay. Hoping you guys can see that. Okay. It's, if I go like this, it's quite wet, like it's sticky. What? Do you want me to hold it? No, but you can come say hi. Wish everyone a happy Easter, Mum. Happy Easter, everybody. Mum says happy Easter. So mine's not too bad, but I am going to add a fair bit of flour. I just need a cup. Oh. Do, 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 do. I should put some music on in the background. Have our own knocky party. Sunday knocky party. You know, ISO, ISO times. Okay, just fingers. Okay, you don't want to over flour it and you don't want to overwork it, yeah? See that? Okay. If anyone's got any questions, can you please ask me? Because I don't know how your mix looks. Da, 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 making the knocky. I should have been a singer, not a chef. <laughs> How's Steve going there, Kylie? Maybe about a cup of flour. I don't know even know how many potatoes I put in there. Maybe four. So if you feel like you've got too much mix, just halve it. Put some away, okay? You don't have to use it all, okay? You can make potato cakes. You can make potato gems out of the other mixture. So if you're getting a bit flustered going, oh my God, what am I doing? Just take some away, okay? This, that amount there would probably serve maybe two. Okay. Mum and Bert, mum, mum's getting a bit flustered because I keep cooking too much here and there's so much food in the fridge and she doesn't know what to do with it. Isn't that right, Mama? Yeah, I love it though. She loves it though. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Uh, what you'll also need to do is put a pot of water on to boil because we do have to Heat the pasta up before we put it into the sauce, okay? I've got to slow down, don't I, guys? Sorry. Mm. Eat it. <laughs> Peter said to eat it, Mum. Oh. Eat it all. I've still got that lasagna left over. You might have to drop it off to Gaze. Yeah, it's doing like a mercy so. dash. Hey, Connor. Patty's missing you, Connor. Okay. What'd you say? Mum? I said we'll have to share because we just can't eat it all. Oh, yes, we can. You can blame the chocolate bunnies or you can blame the food that your daughter's cooked for you. Okay. Oh, you go like that and it still sticks to you. Shoot, you don't want to. This is where you're going to have to use your own sensory, okay? You don't want it too mushy because if it's too mushy, you're going to have to 
it, like it will fall apart when you reheat it into the boiling water. If it's too dry, like if it added too much flour, it's going to taste like a flour ball. Okay, flour, flour ball. Okay. Cook it in my mom's kitchen. This is going to be the last bit of flour. I don't want to add any more of that. That's beautiful. Okay, there. That's my knocky dough. Okay, so see how it's not sticking to me. That's it. So I'm just going to leave that there. We're going to use this part again because that's where we're going to roll it. Um, I should add Kylie in when she's using her paddle. Kylie, would you like to join in when you're doing your paddle part? Kylie! So people that haven't seen a paddle board know how to use one. I'm putting her under pressure here. She's going to hate to love me right now. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put a pot of water on to boil. And I'll be right back. So you guys just keep going where you're at. Mum can do my intermission. <laughs> Just use the same pot that you cook the actual gnocchi like the potatoes in. Did you buy garlic? Yeah, I've got garlic. Uh, for me? Well, mm. you've got your jar stuff on. I can't find stuff. it. What do you mean? Oh, there it is, yep. And open your eyes and you will see. Okay, can you do this from my house next holidays? I'll pay. Yes, where are you going to do my flights to, Pete? <laughs> uh, I need a spatula. I don't have an actual spatula knife. Hold on. What I got? Let's use this. So with all the flights, my flights that have been cancelled to go up to Cairns, I think I'm in credit close to eight, nine hundred dollars and I still haven't got a flight home to Cairns yet. Okay, you ready for the next step? I'm sitting down because I'm not teaching my class. And it's Easter Sunday and I'm showing you guys how to make gnocchi. Okay, now. You've got your mixture there. Do you want me to slow down or keep going? If I don't hear a response in three, two, one. Okay, I'm going. Um, cut off a little bit of a mixture. If you've got a spatula, use a spatula. What you're gonna do here um, is, okay, is, you're gonna roll this, yeah? So you're gonna roll it out. Uh, if it starts sticking to your bench, start adding flour. Okay? You're just gonna make a sausage style roll. Okay, that's it. Done. That's it. Your next step is you will add flour. Okay, because you've got the shape that you want. Okay? Right. Now, you're going to cut your knockies. This isn't a sharp knife. Do them how thick you want. Now, I don't know whether Kylie's going to tap in to show the paddle. But, okay. You just cut them. That's it. It's a knocky. You've just made your first knocky. Proud of you guys. You can roll it. You can shape it however you like, but I always leave them. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then I'm just going to cut, yeah? And you guys just... Go at your own pace. So best way, production line, time saving, any time saving is if you're doing a task, do that whole task first and then. So rather than cut flour, cut flour, you cut them all and then you flour them. Like especially that roll. Okay. Yeah, no bug of that. <laughs> you can come to mine anytime, Pete. 
<gasps> I love Noki. I'm so excited. Okay. Just type questions up as you're going because this is a long process. Hope you guys didn't have a date or anything at 4.30 because it's going to go for a while. Um, the first source that I'm going to show you how to do, I'm just talking about my next step as I'm doing this step because it gets pretty... Um, it's just the same. So I'm going to saute off onion, garlic, add some chicken, add some uh, diced zucchini, wine, cream, reduce, add manaki. My next one I'm going to show you how to do burnt butter and sage and bacon because I love bacon. Okay. If you want to know anything, please ask questions. <laughs> Kylie, can I tap you in? Because it's really quiet here and I'm not used to how quiet it is. It's making me kind of nervous. Center request. Oh, yeah, cool. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hi, Steve. Hey. <laughs> he's he's cutting his. Oh, he's, he's yeah. cutting his. I can't even see how. Yeah, yeah smaller. I'd go smaller. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, well, I've only done little ones. Can I hold that? All right. I expect little balls. Yeah. You have to, you have to go down a bit so I can see. Hang on. Oh, you're so cute. Ah, where's my pedal? Oh, there you go. Together, oh, you're so, so, so I'm cute. Just, I'm just doing with my little buttery thing. Yeah. Just rolling. Where did you get that board from? Oh, look at you. I'm so jealous of you right now, Kylie. So jealous. <laughs> um, um, these, are, these are antique butter. You know, when you make, used to make your butter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can That's use a fork. You can use a fork. Yeah, you can. Uh, but yeah, hey, so. let's just get through the knocking making skills first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right, you've done yours a bit big, Steve. Uh, <laughs> I'm going. I'm set. Oh. I'll go back and look uh, the set. You're buffering. Podcast. He's set. You're sacked. No one's sacked here. It's Easter Sunday. Oh, Kylie sacked me. No, I didn't sack you. Look, you can well. use a fork, Maddie. Hey, Trace. I don't know if he's, um, yeah. I don't know how to work with you. Yeah, make a sausage. It. How do you I spin right. my stuff around? So, I'm wondering if it's supposed to work. Hey. He's running out of space to work. Because someone's too busy on their phone. <laughs> you should be used to that by now anyway, Steve. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'll go, I might go back to my binge watching of the test. I was trying to find a bunny. Is this a bunny? No, it's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Where's a bunny? You think they have hey, a bunny? Boss? Hey, Janet. Ooh. Oh, my yeah. So Kylie and I used to teach at Great High School together. How many years ago was that? Oh, how many years ago? Um, oh, what year was Patty in? How many left? Patty started in prep. Um, oh, yeah. Did he? So Patty's in year nine now. So yeah, he started in prep in Great. Yeah. So we lived next to Kylie and Steve for like three years. I can't touch it now because I've touched my hair. Um. <laughs> Um, Kylie, you're at home. Erin lived, well, then Erin lived in your house after you you left, didn't she? So she was here for for three years, was she? It's probably about what six years. Three, and then David Key was in for a year or two. Yeah, it'd be six or seven. It'd be more than we think. Yeah. And you miss me every day. We, we do. do. <laughs> hey, is he? Is that you, is he or Giselle? Giselle, you see the calls? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh. Patty's being a slack teenager. He's down really Is he? Oh, he's a shy boy. Hey, you should take him for a bit, Steve. Go for a hit of golf. 
No, I can't play golf. Can't play golf. We could we could probably have a kick of the footy. I love that. Yeah. I try to, but I'm not really that good at it. <laughs> you having fun, Chesa? So Look at him go. Other, hey, Kylie, say hello to Sharon. Sharon's my other art teacher up in town. Oh, hey, teacher. Sharon. The, uh, yeah. My, oh, I love my art teachers. <laughs> yeah, well, we are special, aren't we? We are a special yeah. breed. We're a breed of our own kind, that's for sure. We're very um, adaptable. Yeah. Problem solving, creativity. Yeah. Never a dull moment, is that polite? No. <laughs> Might cut them in How's off. everyone's docky going? Now you can see how neat uh, Steve and Kylie's are. And you can see how... Not so they got abstract Kylie. Look at that. Abstract. I don't know. They're just different. I like to, I'm not trying to balance you. Sorry, guys. Mine are... I can't really see. I'm making little ones. Little pillows. Sorry. You have to quarantine what? when you go back for 14 days, Kat? No, because Flight Centre just called me before and they're like, oh, we'll reimburse you for the money uh, for your next set of flights. Uh, and then I'm like, well, I can get a flight to Brisbane Friday the 24th of April. And then I have to stay overnight and then fly to Cairns this Saturday. That's the only flights available. And the lady oh. at the flight centre is like, oh, you have to quarantine in Brizzy. And I'm like, what? And then I called the, uh, what is it called? The Corona hotline. Yeah. Or the hotline. And they said, no, just make sure that I go straight to the hotel for the night stay and straight back to the airport. But I haven't booked them yet because I'm scared to book them and then they all cancel again. 30 yeah. degrees and sunny in Mission Beach. Thanks, Maddie. You know oh, nice. Point. Well, it depends. Are you going to be remote learning like us? You mightn't have to get, you can stay where you are. Yeah, well, our, our principal, he's, he's great. He's been emailing and he hasn't had an update from their, like our department, like of yeah. education. So until they get that, they can't make any decisions. But I've just put everything up on my note anyway. Sorry, guys, for the teacher talk. <laughs> but, you know, we're all Life family. talk at the moment. <laughs> Making relationships through food. This is the whole thing, guys. You got questions, you want to ask us, just ask. If you just like listening. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> oh, goodness. Right. Can you roll them in... Um... Polenta afterwards, you know how they sometimes yeah, have polenta. Yeah, absolutely. You can do whatever you want. It's not going to ruin them, that's for sure. No. Um, what else was I going to say? I can't remember. NT kids back to school on the 20th. Have you guys just broken up, Pete, like with, the, with the term? When did you guys start your term? Okay. I'm so glad Bert's not in here at the moment because he would freak out. Well, I might go back to, I don't know, hang on me. She's having a go at rolling in now. Okay. Well, I'm going to... I look like spiral, spiral pasta now. Just do a little, you've got to turn it into a ball. I can do it however I like, thank you. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> a new a new um Instagram channel. <laughs> Cooking with your other half. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I've been married married for twenty five years and now when we're in social isolation we're getting to know each other. <laughs> it's a dream come true, Steve, you know? It is. Can you it's maybe like the <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna that the store, so I'm going to wash my hands, but there. Uh, I don't know if you got this. Yep. Come back in if I accidentally tap you out. Love you, Kyle. Right. Love you. Um, there we go. Okay. Everyone needs a Kylie in their life. So, yeah, I've been friends with Kylie for a lot of years. She's the most 
giving, beautiful person you'll ever meet. And there's many people, but yeah, she's awesome. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to show you. That's my knocky. I'm going to show you how to make a chicken sauce. I'm so excited. We had one week off. Oh, same as Queensland Pete. Okay. All right. I'm going to wash my hands, then start. Want me to slow down? Slow down. Questions? Ask me some questions. Some water on that, some dry. Oh, oh. Okay. Pass the sauce. You can make anything you want. True. Like there is no right or wrong. There is a right and wrong way. The right way is that it tastes good at the end. The wrong way is that it doesn't taste good. Figure out your flavours, figure out what you need, and then go from there. So I'm going to just grab my chicken. No, actually, I'll cut the onion first. Uh, yeah. Onions, top. Fail. Use a healy blade to get that outer skin off. And then I'm going to use half of this onion for the first sauce. Slice your onion. Now, if you ever burn your onion at the start of making anything, that flavour will never disappear. You burn it, you're actually going to have a burnt flavour through your sauce. There's no disguising it, unless it's a lot of wine. <laughs> um, yeah. These onions are really strong. the heat and then I'm going to take it down to medium. I'm going to saute off the onion and the garlic. Oh, sorry. Impor. What's impor mean? Sorry Kate. I don't know. Oh, those onions. Sorry, guys. They're going to make me cry. Who's that? <gasps> it's Janet. It's Janet. Okay. Oil. Oh, you need oil. No, I've got oil. I haven't got any of the good stuff left. Thanks, Maddie. Okay. Saute. Onion. Garlic. Okay. Dice up my zucchini. What's the matter? Oh, Patty, Nana, have you cuddle at the back? I'll show you. <laughs> They're so cute. He's so cute. Okay. It's just time consuming, you know, making gnocchi, making sauces. Uh, 
There's a good thing here is if I make too much, I just put it in the fridge. I am now having a wine with you. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Yeah, Kylie's awesome. She's in Garouk. She does a lot of art things down here. And she's just a she's just the best. Cheers. Thanks for cooking with me. Kids under 18, we're not allowed to drink, okay? All right. I'm gonna show you. Mum hasn't got non-stick pans. Now the thing I would suggest is you don't need expensive, you do, look. You pay for what you get, but you can get non-stick, good non-stick pans from Kmart. This is heavy. I'm tired of working with it, actually. I'm going to... Sorry, I'm working by myself, two hands. You guys are going for a bit of a dance party there. There's Blue. Say hi, Blue. That's right. Yeah, I know. You can smell the food. Okay, so I'm going to saute that off. I'm turning it right down. Lure. Okay. Control your heat. If you're running out of time, Blue, don't start, bub. I've taken you for two walks today, mate. Wait. Shush. Shush. Okay. I'm going to thin these eyes. Oh, I'll tell you what. If I was going through a food safety... Is Nikki on? If I was going through a food safety... Test, I'd fail. A lot of cross-contamination going on right now. But remembering people, I'm at home, okay? I'm at home. So I'm going to thinly slice my chicken. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice, Maddie. Cheers. Chicken. I'm going to put that into the pan. Wash my board. And I might bring you guys over. It's really hard to find spots to leave you guys. Let me see. On my own. What I'm going to do once this chicken's nearly cooked, I'm going to add wine. What? Really cut? Are you going to add more wine? Yep. Before I add the cream. So there's that one there. Okay. And I'm going to show you my other sauce. I know you guys are making your sauces, um, but I'm just going to keep cruising. I'm going to do a small bit of butter and sage, but I'm going to do that with bacon. It's what is life without bacon, really. As you say, share that. Off the kitchen and does it. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Okay. Just 
Kung siya sa kantay ko mo. Now what you can do with tinoki if you've made too much as well, is that I'll, I want you to partially cook it and then put it in cold water. What you're not going to use tonight, it's called blanching. And then put it in the fridge. It'll be right for a couple of days. Okay, so you're not going to waste anything. You can also add stock and reduce that stock and then add cream or tomato. Okay. So, you can see the chicken. I'll just show you this. I've just got bacon there. I've got the chicken, onion, garlic, zucchini. And then I've got my water boiling. And then over here, We've got the gnocchi. Now, your gnocchi only needs to go in that boiling water until it floats. Okay, so when you put it in, it's got to float. Then you put it straight into the sauce. Yes, please. How can I help you? Now the burnt butter doesn't take long at all, so I'm just going to cook off. This is not bacon. Hey, you want to come cook this thing? Come on. Let me show you. Look at this. There he is. He doesn't like getting selfies with me anymore. Sorry guys, I'm going to keep cooking now. You can burn your sage first, which I should have done, but I didn't. As I said, this is a Sunday at home. It's a Sunday class. So don't critique me. I'm no expert. No expert. I just cook how I feel. Isn't there a song that it's like I just dance the way I feel? <laughs> no, you know. Oh, you're going to dance in the ceiling, Mum. Oh, this is very good. I'm so excited. Okay. Three. Okay. Three. I don't know. Just enough to 
cover your items, your food items. <gasps> this is so good. I'm going to make this for so long. I'm having a moment, guys. Just bear with me. Okay. I'm going to put the lock in. I'll just, I'll take, I'm that desperate, I'll take a green one, please. Oh. Guys, season your food. You have to season your food. Don't not season. Okay, a little bit of salt's okay. Too much, that's a different story. <gasps> so excited. Oh my God, this sounds amazing. Okay, I'll have to show you this. Okay. I've got my knocky in there. See, it's not coming to the top. That's my chicken. Sauce. Oh, look at that fatness there. I'm so excited. Okay. Usually you can burn your butter first and add to wine, then add, I'm going to sneeze. I didn't get my cooking from my mum. <laughs> okay? I never use this. What's it got in there? Food acid, natural flavour, and preservative 223. No. This is not right, but desperate times, people, desperate times. Oh. oh, it smells good though. Come on, Nucky, come to the top. I'm doing the coffee. It smells so good. I'm putting the bacon back in there. So excited, people. I'm very excited. Excited by life in these high slow times. How's everyone else going? Can I get some feedback? Talk to me, please. People pay like $28, $35 for one server lucky, okay, like a proper good lucky. You figure out how to do that, research it, watch Google things. I'm not a nonna, remember. Plus I'm in my mum's house, I'm working with what I've got. That's it. There's no right or wrong way, it's just if it tastes good, you've done good. I'm proud of you guys, I'm proud of me too. <laughs> Mummy, you're proud of me. Oh, to the moon. Thanks, Thank man. Excellent. Thanks, God. Taste your sauces. Make sure they taste okay. Oh, my knuckles floating. Yeah. See? So I'm going to put that into there, and then I'm going to put another batch, and I'm going to put it into there. So, if you'll be a bit, if you want to ask questions, I'm okay. Please ask questions. Got a Oh, I hope your yours all like smell the same and look the same as mine. It's so good.
Hey, my butter one's done. I'm going to put some more knocking in after this batch. Don't put too much knocking in your pot. I should have said that earlier. Because if you haven't if you haven't used the right potatoes, which is okay, but if they do go to mush, like you're going to stop that whole, like whatever you got in your saucepan. Okay. Oh. Like kale and onions on. <laughs> Love it, Pete. It's good. Hey, Rhiannon. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited, people. Right, I'm going to show you what I've done. Oh, Pete, come to my house and have some gnocchi. There you go. I've got some more gnocchi in that pot. I haven't got enough gnocchi in there, but look at this. Oh, so good. Come and eat with me, guys. I'm going to serve up. Uh, look. Do you think I should use the floral one? The oval flower one? Oh, wait, man, you're not helping me with like the, you know, photo skills. You've got so much stuff in you guys. Mm. <laughs> that one? Or the spaghetti bowl. I might go to spaghetti bowl. Okay, I'm going to serve. Can you guys see that? Mike? Where do I move you? Make it see what I'm doing. Ah. I'm like over here. I'll turn that off. Let's come over here. Can see that all right? Cool. All right. Here we go. Oh. <gasps> Holy shit. Bez, I didn't swear, guys. It's a 4 p.m. version, not the 10 o'clock in the morning version. Okay, if you're on a diet, don't eat it. But if you're on a diet, just enjoy Easter Sunday. It's a homemade docky, burnt butter and sage sauce. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay. I'll clean it up, but that's it. Ooh. Right, I'm going to try some. I do need a little bit more lemon, 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 lemon in So excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Shazza, how are you going there? Look. Pharmacy on top. That is delicious. Mine is so good. Hot, but awesome. Like, absolutely bloody amazing. A little bit of cheese on top. Cool. All right. Send me some pics. Send me some updates. I have the knockies ready. I'm going to put that into my other sauce. Uh, thanks for cooking with me again. I don't know what I'm going to do over the next week. I might squeeze in another kids' cooking class on Tuesday. Because Victorian students go back on Wednesday. Like, not back to school, but their school system starts on Wednesday. So I'll squeeze in one more class for the kiddies. Don't know what it'll be. Any suggestions? 
email through. They look a bit mushy. Hope they're okay. They'll be fine. Shaz. Might not have been enough flare at the start. That's okay. That's okay. But if you want to, you can put them in like cold water and cool them and even crumb them. But then you're just adding to the carbohydrates, which we love. And that is my, oh God, this is so good. Thanks for the suggestion, whoever suggested it. I can't remember who suggested it the other day. They've made it for ages. Izzy, how are you going? Life in Garrawid, thank you. I want to know. I want photos. My niece cooked, so um, I told her what to set up before he went. And she's, uh, how old are you? Is he 12? And she wants to be a chef as well. And she's amazing. And I'm missing her. And she lives a K away from me. Oh, like from mum's house, but I haven't seen her yet. All right. I love you. All of you. Very proud. Let's do the food. Let's in enjoy the simplest things of life. Building relationships through food. Love it. Uh, questions, email me. Any suggestions for, oh, shoot, uh, Tuesday, let me know. And we'll go from there. And I might do a couple of dinners for the kids as well, like butter chicken. It's not hard from scratch. Seriously, it's not hard. And another easy dinner. So that way they're not cooking in their school hours, so to speak. I'll have a glass of wine for you. Miss you all. Love you all. Take care. Look after each other. Ciao.